Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the 900. So today, uh, we're going to take on a one and a half skull mission. We're going to jump right into it, I think. I'm going to go to the contracts. And we're going to do settling a grudge, I think, today. It's a battle in the desert. Um, basically, against uh, we just got to find a um, uh, local government lance, I think. Or, sorry, Magistrate Canopus um, Lance, and basically destroy it. So I think we should be able to do this without too much problem. Let's negotiate, and we're going to go full salvage on this one again. Going to accept. Hopefully we find ourselves some medium X, I don't know. But I want to keep uh, the Jenner up here as well, because it's got the four medium lasers rather than the two in the spider. Plus a tiny bit more armor, not much, but a little bit. Um... And nice to have Starfish with the sensor lock so we can utilize our long-range weapons. So let's deploy and get this sucker done. Alright, here we go. Okay, so this is one of those maps that there's usually reinforcements on. But maybe not. So there's two ways you can go usually on this map. You can go move off this way. You get the mineral field to fire from long range, which is kind of nice. Forces the enemy into open area. Or if you're unsure of the enemy, you can move this way. The mineral feels nice. There's some trees, but you get lots of protection here. And if they if they split up and go this way and this way, you can basically just take out the guys here first and then finish these guys off. And that's the way I normally like to go, is I like to move along this way. But you want to get your faster mechs in first. Simply because this is a bottleneck right here. So we got two mechs on this side. This is a one and a half skull mission, so we could be up again against the mediums here. Looks like we got a couple lights. So we're gonna reserve, see what they do. Holding for the right opportunity. We have good we have good chevrons of evasion, so we're alright. And I think there's reinforcements. Okay, so it's four lights. I think we'll know for sure if there's reinforcements if these guys have light armor. That guy looks like he's got full armor. Okay, so the panther is the guy we obviously want to kill first. Gonna run a little hot doing this. Are we gonna get into the trees, get some cover, some evasion, and fire on the side of this guy? Kind of the side. I'm hoping we get some shots on this arm, but we'll see. Oh, well, maybe a lot of CT hits. That's good too. We only need two more Panther parts to be able to complete another Panther, so. Um, hey, Seuss, we can move into cover here. So let's do that. Mineral field's nice, gives us plus four to defense. Fire on this guy. Ah, getting started on him. Not as good as I was hoping, but... Alright, talented Ms. Ripley. Don't need to move in close, I don't think. So we'll stay back here. We'll fire on the Panther. Really good chances to hit. That's where we want to hit. That side. Ready for orders. Can we get in the mineral field here? We cannot. We cannot actually target anything if we do that either. So... We could do that. That'll work. Fire on this guy. Wow, really hitting the side we don't want to hit. There's like nothing in that side. Uh, let's go with um, Ripley first. Can we get into the can't. Uh, 
Uh, let's do that. Got at least one chevron of evasion. We are going to try for a precision strike. Going to try for this torso and just fire. See what happens. Really, really. What's up, boss? Let's get into here. I copy. Let's keep pushing this guy. Fire everything. Okay, we got one shot in the side we want. They must have reinforcements coming because uh, it's taken an awfully long time for these guys to move. Heads yep. Up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Yep, I know. Club, no. Okay, let's go. And we'll fire two. Okay. Not quite enough to take that arm, damn it. Pretty darn close, though. They got another four mechs. Okay, Moonwalking Locust, what's he doing here? Backing up. Pushed him a little too much, I think. Yeah, we can't take these hits. Move into the trees, get some more defense. We're gonna fire straight on this guy. Hope we get lucky. Okay, looks like we did. All right, don't have to worry about that anymore. Yep. Okay. Yes, Commander. Talented Ms. Ripley. We need to get you off there. So let's shoot this guy. Okay. Sorry I'm being quiet here. I gotta concentrate on what I wanna do here. With reinforcements coming in, I don't I, I got a feeling it's a full lance because of the, the amount of time it's been taking. Um So I want to be careful of what it is I'm doing here. Um, and where I'm moving to. Advancing, I guess. So we can continue the attack on this guy, I think, and that's probably what we'll do because he's in the open. Strip a bit of evasion. If we can kill this panther, the locust I'm not so worried about. I mean, I don't like the machine guns, but um, I want this panther off the map board. Okay, he's still got range. Well, I guess as long as he's staying back, um, that's a good thing. So let's move into here. Location confirmed. And we can fire three, so we will. Okay, that should be it. Oh, not quite. That hit something good. Yeah, one point left. Because of course there's only one point left.
So we're going to move back. Eh, it's a fire starter. Well, in a way, it's kind of good, though, because we need we do need fire starter parts. Oh, great. He's fleeing the interview. You're drawing me out, that's what you're doing. Okay, so we're gonna multi-target. We're gonna shoot this guy. And we're gonna shoot this guy. B is taking the large laser and one medium laser. No, that's how we're gonna do it. I gotta make sure we hit this guy in the CT. That should be it. There we go. Okay, so one down. Took us long enough. Yeah, I didn't think we'd hit, but I was hoping for a back shot. We weren't quite far enough behind. So if we rotate off to the left here, we have to deal with these two guys plus these guys moving in. If we move to the right, there's three guys here now. So... Waiting for orders. Let's keep going this way. They made the decision for us. So we got three guys coming this way. We can avoid them for a little bit. And this is our target. Firing the PPC. Oh, that's three misses now with this PPC. That's a miss. Yeah, I can see that. This is going to be a long battle. Okay. Uh, <sighs> that's better. Let's push this uh, fire starter a bit, I think. Just fire two. Okay, two hits. I think we can only fire two as well. Oh, maybe three? Nope, just two. Okay, another hit. Got a sensor lock. Of course they do. Yeah, here it comes. Over the red line. Heat damage. Okay. I think we're going to do this. Can't hit the leg. What's he got in the CT here? A fair bit, but we're going to unload everything onto the CT that we can. And fire. Come on, tell me that was a head hit. It was. Why we can't hit the CT? Damn it. We gotta start falling. Well, they're gonna trap us. He 
You know, we got like zero hits to the CT and we hit everywhere else on a called shot. All our lasers are on the uh, right side. Standing by. Aye, aye. Copy. Oh god, this is an awful mission. Wow, look at all the Panthers. Yeah, we're out of here. This is ridiculous. This is like another one I have to withdraw from now. Coming super frustrating here. Uh, let's move into here. Got to rethink how I'm doing things here because this is getting ridiculous now. It's just the sheer numbers, right? Like, even with the knockdown, it won't matter. Because here's the thing. If I start jumping around, I've got no heat to be able to do anything with, with weapons. And if I, um... move around, those PPCs are going to kill me. My called shots aren't landing where I want them to land. I'm going to take two PPC, two PPC hits on this guy before I get a chance to do anything. Okay, if I kill this locust... It's got like no back armor. Uh, let's try something here before we just back out of this one. Standing by. We just don't have the heat to do it. Don't have the heat to do it. 
Ready for orders. So Even if I don't fire anything, I'm still overheating. Which means I'm taking internal structure damage. Waiting for orders. I'm gonna rethink the loadout on that Jenner. Got a little bit back off this guy, but not much. Yeah, I'm gonna withdraw. Before I take too much more hits in my C bills here. Okay. Not going to get anything for this, but look at we got internal structure damage on a lot of our guys already. So we're going to have to repair this. A couple medium lasers I've got, no problem. Take the Panther part. God, that was awful. Alright, so I'm going to rethink my loadouts between episodes. Um, let's get these guys repaired. Should be able to get these done before the next uh, financial report. I don't know about this one though. So... Oh yeah, that won't work. That's a large. Mediums. So... I think the Vindicator is working fine. I mean, the other thing too is we pull the large laser off of it. Replace it with a medium. Add more jump jets. Just to stay completely mobile. So if we do that, let's say we do this. You know what? If we do this. Let's say we do... We can have four total. And then we add a couple more heat sinks. That's pretty good than half a ton of armor. So something like that, I think. So let's try that. It's an eight day refit. Right. I'll get it in the skip. And this guy I think we're going to take out the LRM-5. And we got jump jets, so let's add some jump jets back in. Uh, we've already got maxed armor, so what can we do here? If we go to downgrade the PPC to a large, we can also add a pair of mediums in as well. Uh, we're out of mediums. Look at that. I wonder though. That's a little much. Um, we do have a missile launcher in the CT. So we could go with an SRM-2. Could take a tiny bit of armor off. Or we could just stay with three jump jets. Large, medium, and well, how much heat is this? Twelve, so that'd be thirty in total. So we could pull a heat sink, then we could add. 
Gonna need the SRM ammo for sure. We don't have any point defense stuff, so... I don't know, man. I really don't know. Let's check the store here. I'm sure we can get medium lasers here. Yeah. Let's buy a medium laser. New weapon systems available. This PPC though is plus two accuracy, that's the thing. Like it's way overheat though. Yeah, I don't know, paramediums and SRM six maybe. Really not feeling that though. Still problems with heat. Okay. So, a large and two mediums, maybe? It's pretty neutral. Certainly going to be better than the PPC in a uh, LRM5, I think. Got a bit more mobility with the jump jet, so let's confirm that. I'll let you know when that's done. Yeah, we're going to be going past the next financial report. Not much we can do about that. Actually, you know what? Let's manage our tasks a bit here. Um, if we go this route... No, we still don't get anything... We don't have enough to get back there. So... Yeah, let's go that route. We're gonna have to go past the next financial report. So let's some, let's sell some stuff here in the store. We got a bunch of junk we can sell. So... Sell one of these guys. Actually, let's sell all of them. LRM 10s, let's sell them all. We're going to be encountering more of these later. Machine guns we're not really using. Small lasers, we'll never use all these. Uh, sell those. Sell a couple of these. Add three of them. Sell four, and sell four. Okay, so we got enough for our next financial report. Let's figure out where we can go now. So it looks like we're stuck at one skull, which really sucks. That's a one and a half, Detroit. What's the mission to Detroit here? Uh, yeah, because that's uh, totally going to be doable. Um, it's going to cost us to jump 30 grand. We can make two jumps, I think, before we're out of cash. So, 12 days, Manthraka. I've already been there. It is one skull though, so let's go there. Calculating course now, Commander. Proceed 
So it's I don't know. I hate the I hate the idea of having to just run with all medium lasers. But if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. It's getting frustrating that it, it's getting so hard to get out of the main lance right now. Like fighting just lights, like eight lights in a row, that was like tough with full armor. I mean, part of my problem is mo mobility and I, I fully accept that. Thanks, man. Um, I fully get that. So, you know, having to work on making sure I'm um, more mobile. That's why I put the jump jets in. Let's have a look what we got here. Uh, Centurion parts. And yeah, not a whole lot else. Black market, anything. Yeah, lots of... Look at this. Double plus. Stability damage. I'm looking for damage. Plus 10 damage PPC. Plus 4 damage. Plus 2 stability damage. Like, that's almost worth it too, right? Plus 4 damage SRM4. four. Ninety-nine thousand. Well, we know it's here. Um... For two tons, that's like two medium lasers, but it's splash, so at least if a medium, la two medium lasers are firing, this, I mean, I don't know. It's still splash damage, though. All right, well, we're going to end the episode here, and um, actually, let's have a look at the contract, see what we got going on. So yeah, we got a, we got a half skull we can pull off real quick. I might do that between episodes. Uh, come back, do the one skull mission, defend base, see how that works out. Swift Reclamation. It, depending if anything else pops up here in the uh, missions, we'll move off, off world and we'll go do Swift Reclamation. It's only 12 days away. Um, yeah. Yeah. I've got to think about how I'm going to deal with two lances of lights. It really is just going to be a battle of attrition, and I'm not willing to sacrifice any of my guys. So i got to think about that. Um, if you have any suggestions, please drop, please drop them in the comments down below. If you liked the episode, um, you know, please drop a like. And until next time, we'll see you all later.